Yo yeah, guys, what's poppin' and welcome to the episode of Fire Em Heroes And today for you guys, we'll be starting a new series called Is This A Trap Banner? So yeah, we have this new banner that came out today Featuring Celica, Sonia, Deltia and Grey Reunited at last, Tempest Trials So this is based for the Tempest Trials coming soon And first thing first, if you don't have a good red mage or blue mage Then this banner might be for you because Celica is an outstanding red mage She's just the best red mage in the game Tarja is a close second, but the thing with Tarja is that she needs a buffer to really excel. So, Celica doesn't need a buffer on her own, she's able to do massive damage, so she's pretty good on her own. So, if you don't have a good red mage, then go for her. Um, same thing with Deltia, if you don't have a good blue mage, then definitely summon for her. Um, she's a close second as well. She's a close second because Lin is the best right now in the game. But, there's a lot of blue mages in the game, so I figure a lot of you guys already have a good blue mage. He's just close to Lin Lin, that's all. So, yeah, if you don't have a good red mage or blue, then I would definitely summon for these two. Sonya's good. Unfortunately, she's in A tier. Honestly, I think she would she belongs in A plus tier, but now she's in A tier. And Grey is just Grey, I guess. Not really outstanding. But here's the thing, right? This just came out, and while yes, you might want one of these guys for boost your score in Tempest Trials, we also have a lot of banners coming soon. So, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys want to spend your ores on this because we're gonna get a bunch of free ores, but at the same time, just having a lot of orbs isn't guaranteeing you a 5 star. Like, I invested, I think, 80 orbs in my previous summoning session, and I didn't get a single 5 star until the end and that wasn't even a focus 5 star it was a uh, noka so yeah just having a lot of orb doesn't guarantee you a summon so you would want to hoard as much as you can to just increase your odds so talking about this banner here i don't know if it's worth summoning for if you don't have a red or blue mage that's all if you, have, you don't have one then definitely summon for them but if you don't if you have one then i would skip it honestly in my opinion all right so this is out right now, but let's check out one thing that's for sure coming. We have Hero Fest, and this is the silhouette that was filled out. This is what has been determined through Reddit. So we have Ike, Julia, Jenny, and Ninian. All great units. Ike is being one of the best um, sword unit in the game with his built-in distant counter. And he has heavy sword, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. His passive weight increases the cooldown of his special, so he's pretty good. Then we have Julia here. Um, the third best green mage in the game. Um, the, the current two best green mage in the game are Elise and Nino. They're like debatable who's the better one because one has two speed over the other and one has two attack over the other I believe. I could be wrong about it, it could be three instead of two but yeah they're similar to each other so they're like let's call them one or two they're equal. They're equal to each other. So yeah Julius the third best green mage. Nino is a great dancer i know a lot of people don't consider um, her as much because everyone wants azura and azura is great don't get me wrong she's like the offensive singer dancer so she's great for offense but nina is your defensive dancer she's able to take hits that will make her a bit you know better than azura if you want a more defensive um dancer think about it like this way if you want like if you're in a situation where you need bring all your unit closer to Ninian. Ninian can take probably a hit or two while you bring all your other allies closer to Ninian to take out the threat. So she's pretty good. And Jenny being a healer is okay, you know. Healer in the game is not all that great right now, you know. Their main purpose is just to heal, which kinda sucks. But Jenny can do attack but at the same time you don't want her to take hits because most of the time healers are built to be more fragile. So yeah. The banner is great. Honestly, the two ones that I would want to go for is Ike and Ninian. But I already have decent um, red units already, so I don't really need Ike. And I already have two Ninian and Azura already, so I don't really need a dancer. So I'm skipping this. And I already have Elise in my team already, so I don't need Julia. So yeah, if you guys don't have a good sword unit, then Ike is your best option. And if you need a dancer, then Azura, not Azura. Ninian is your best choice. Julia, now here's the thing, if you need a good green mage, I would definitely summon on the um, Norian Summer Banner because Elise has been you know, considered one of the best green mage in the game, so having her is pretty good. The only problem is that you have to be aware that your 3% in the Summer Banner is split into two because you also have Xander who's a green unit, so you have half a chance of getting 
I'm telling you, but she's a darn good green mage. I would definitely go for her over Julia if you have the option to. But yeah, Ike is pretty good to get, and Ninja is pretty good. Jenny is like, if you really want to be a collector and get a healer, then definitely get her. And the other thing about this, what makes it a bit better than the the current banner that is out for Tempest Trial is that the rates here are 5%, so all these guys start at 5%, your focus is 5%, your regular 5 star is 5%, that's amazing, you already have a boosted chance of getting it, getting a 5 star, so definitely this is a banner worth summoning over the, um, the Tempest Trials one. But now then, let's go into, a go into the future a little bit more, and I honestly think this might be coming at the end of August or mid in September, the Choose Your Legend banner that we've been waiting for so long. Now here's the thing, I'm thinking that this coming end of August or mid September because around that time the free orbs will stop and I guess the game would have expected us to have spent a lot of free orbs on the current banners so they would probably expect us to spend money to get these units but if you're aware of them then you might save your orbs and actually have a chance to get them. So we have Ike, Lynn, Roy and Lucien who's gonna be the main focus and the only thing I'm worried about is that if they left all of them as sword units because then it'd be very difficult to get the one you want. I'm hoping that they do at least one color each, red, blue, green and colorless so that you have a fair chance of getting a 5 star focus. But if you don't know, imagine all of these guys are red then that 3% gets split into 4 and your chances of getting the one you want very slim. So I really hope they do it for one color each. But yeah. We having this coming soon. I know they'll probably bring it at the end of September, the latest. I don't think they'll push it back any further than that. So, yeah, we definitely have this banner to expect as well. And now let's go to the schedule. If you could load up, all right. So this is the schedule right now, and we're about to start the Tempest Trials, and this is where this um this current Tempest Trial banner is out. And while it's good, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good because Celica is a pretty good unit and Delphia is pretty good. We also have the Heroes Fest coming soon. And then, actually the Hero Fest is coming before the Tempest Trial even starts. So, you might want to save ores for that. And we also have the Grand Hero Battle Valtar. And now here's the thing, we might get special units for him as well. Because looking at his map, we might get decent green units and we might get a decent blue. I'm not sure or a good archer because then we might have to take out these guys so it's pure speculation of course but we might get good units for this banner with this event so looking at it guys I'm not sure if you should waste your orbs on this banner right now um honestly it's up to you if you don't have a good red or blue you might then definitely summon on this banner because Delta and Celica is pretty good two of the best units in the game when it comes to mages so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, do you agree with me that we should save our orbs and avoid this trap banner? Or is this banner actually worth getting units from? So, hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe leave a like if you did. Sub for more Fire Emblem content and bye.